What is up guys? My name is Changer Danger. Today it's finally the end of 2022. Well, it's not really the end, but it's almost there. Whatever. I actually remembered to make a year recap video. So today we're going to be going over my 10 top viewed most videos of the entire year. 2022. It was crazy. I went from 500,000 subs on YouTube to 4 million. And I just realized that Brittany's cat Max snuck outside and that's the one thing I'm not supposed to do is let him go outside. So I need to go get him and put him back in. Boy, go. You think you're an outside cat now? He's like, no, I don't want to go back in. Bruh, you're coming with me and you're going in. Okay, nobody show this clip to Brittany. You're going to get in huge trouble. So anyways, guys, we're going to be going over my top 10 most viewed clips. Um, you probably already know what the most viewed one is. I know what it is. And we're going to watch a couple before we get there. But if you want to guess, go down and hit the comment. Uh, put what you think the most viewed video is. If you're a fan of my channel and you watch all my shorts, uh, you might know. Uh, so anyways, let's get into it. And if you're new here, subscribe and uh, let's get into it. 2022 recap. Thanks for watching this year, guys. I appreciate you. Right when we got in the water today, I found the lids to two sodi cans right next to each other. I wonder if they were friends. Then I found a hair tie, and Britt found a hair tie in a sea urchin test. Brittany crushed the test and turned it into confetti. By the way, it's Brittany's birthday today, so everyone go say happy birthday, Brittany. Then I found this rubber taco shell and a cup from that poisonous coffee place. Then I found the bottom of a sodi can, and Brittany found some fishing line with a hook and a fishing weight. Nice job, Brittany. Wow, another sea urchin test. This one's so cute and small. Then I found a tag or something and this massive piece of net stuck to the coral. I could tell it was really embedded and I'd have no chance of removing it without a knife. I'll have to come back to the spot later and clean it all the way up. Then I found these two metal rings. I tried to pick them up but they were stuck to the bottom. I guess this could be a mooring for a ship but I never expected to see one here. Then I went in this cave and at first it was dark and I couldn't see anything and then as I got deeper in it I realized there was a sharky. A lot of people are afraid of sharks but actually there's no reason to be afraid of them. Oh my god he lunged at me. He was gonna bite me. Just kidding. They're more afraid of us than we are of them. I think I disturbed him while he was napping, so I'm just gonna leave him alone. Sorry, buddy. Then I found the shell that has Brittany's favorite pattern. She's gonna be so excited. Oh my gosh, I found another one buried in the rubble. It's Britt's birthday today, so this will be the perfect present. Before I could show her, she wanted to dive down into this cave. The way the light was beaming in, it was so beautiful. But wait a second, I found a piece of plastic at the bottom and a piece of aluminum. Who could leave trash in such a beautiful place? I could see the sun beaming down from the top and I tried to swim out of the cave, but Brittany blocked me. Watch out, Brittany, I'm trying to swim here. Then I found a leash plug for a bodyboard and this little strap of cloth was sticking out. So I started to dig it out and it was really stuck down there. When I finally got it, I realized it was a women's camisole. Why am I always finding so much women's clothing in the ocean? Then we found the cutest little baby turtle. He came up to me and he was like, hey bro, you got any plastic straws? And I was like, uh, no. And then he was like, all right, well, let me know if you find one. Um, okay. I found another bodyboard plug and a hair clip. Wow, look at the chompers on that thing. Then I found a golf bowl and another golf bowl and a third golf bowl. Are you kidding me? A plastic straw? I know exactly who to give this to. Then I saw the horniest sea cucumber I have ever seen. I was honestly pretty intimidated to touch him, but I gave him just a little boop and he didn't sting me, but definitely looks poisonous. Then I found a fishing weight that had a hook on the other side. And when I pulled it up, the hook was stuck in the reef. When I tried to rip it off, I dropped one of my balls and these balls were really way too much to handle. While I was fiddling with my balls, somehow I dropped the fishing weight and the hook went straight into my finger. Luckily it didn't puncture me, but it definitely hurt. Then I found this hair tie and then I saw these two turtles. I was like, hey, did you guys see the little guy looking for a straw? And they're like, no, but I'll take that straw. Like, what is going on with these turtles? Okay, that's all the stuff we saw. Bye. On my dive today, Brittany found these three shells before I even got in the water. Wow, you really scored on these, Brett. We were out swimming around and I thought I noticed something down in the sand. I went down to get a closer look and I realized it was my crab friend, Dale. Dale is what's known as a gambling addict and we have a bit of a rocky past. I know it's my fault. I enabled him. I lent him $40,000 to bet on horse races and he lost all of it. So he owes me that money and that's why he's always running away from me. Dale was like, look at me, man. I put 40K on Blue Clover. If he would have ran like this, I would have made 1.6 mil and I would have finally been able to afford that house I've been looking at. And I was like, I know Dale, I get it, but horses don't have eight legs and they don't run like 
Well, anyways, Dale, it was good catching up and I really hope you can get things sorted out and give me that money that you owe me. Last week, I was doing a photo shoot with my friends Elizabeth and Milady, and let's just say they were having a little bit of an issue with the whole graceful mermaid thing. Luckily, Brittany was there to show them how it's done. And after Britt did her dive, the girls were starting to figure it out. I got these really nice shots of Milady, and then Elizabeth went next. Oh, a kissing pose. I love that. Then Brittany was like, hey, you're not going to believe what I found in the sand. It was this gold ring. And I was like, gosh, this looks so familiar. Yeah, I swear this is one of your guys' rings. Oh, yeah, I think. Oh. Oh, I lost everything. Wow, you lost my ring. You find my ring. No, Brittany found it. Oh my god. Somehow she also lost her snorkel, but luckily I found it. Okay, that's all the stuff we saw. Bye. Someone asked me about sea urchins the other day, so I wanted to make something about them. This one looks black, but it's actually dark blue, and most of the spines aren't that sharp unless you step on it or try to grab it too hard. This one's all black, and it's similar. And look, there's a little crab living on top of it. These ones are super spiny. You definitely don't want to touch them, but they don't want to touch you either. You can see it moving away when I try to boop the spine. These guys have super tiny spikes. They're not very sharp, though, so you can touch it. They like to find random pieces of debris and use them as hats to protect them from the sun. All sea urchins have what are called tube feet. They're like little suction cups and they like to stick onto things. You can see this one is suctioned so hard that he won't drop down. Well, at least for a little bit. All right, let's put you back on the rock. This is called a red pencil urchin. Their spines aren't pokey at all. It's okay to touch them, but be sure to not take them out of the water and put them back when you're done. Sometimes they'll give you hugs, but this one was moving kind of slow. I put him back in a cave so that he can grab on tight. Bye, friend. I was looking around in this cave where I always find shells and I thought I saw a piece of one and then it ended up being this epic money cowrie buried in the sand. This thing is so nice and I've never found one this big. I went to show it to Brittany but she was doing some weird yoga thing and then she looked at the shell and she was so stoked. I guess she was waiting for me to take photos of her so I took these cool photos of Brittany then she showed me this pencil urchin spine that she found. Then I went to another one of my shell spots and sure enough I found this big one right away. Then I found a bigger pencil urchin spine and I wanted to give it to her. I was like check this out Brittany I got this spine and the shell and I know a special way I can put them in my pocket and they won't take up so much room. Then I found this super smooth pink cowrie. Wow, another cowrie over here. I went to show it to my friend Nainoa and he was like, huh. Pathetic. I've seen way better shells than that. Okay, that's all the stuff we saw. Bye. Brittany has gotten a lot better at blowing bubble rings, and I wanted to show you guys her progress. All these clips are from the same day, so if you've been practicing at home and you can't get a perfect ring every time, don't worry. The same thing happens to us. She says it's harder for her when I'm taking a video because the spotlight is on, but then she blew this perfect one. She messed it up when her snorkel hit it, so we didn't get the best video. Then I went down and blew a perfect one first try. Sorry, Brittany. Didn't mean to flex on you like that. I went down again, and boom. Bingo, bango, double rank. Go. Then Brittany was like, all right, all right, I got skills too. And she went down and blew a perfect one. It was so big, she was able to get all the way through without messing it up. Everyone go say congratulations on your progress, Brittany, in the comments right now. Okay, bye. This morning, I found a little fishy that looked like he had seen better days. I tried to give him the fish version of CPR, but it didn't seem to work. Then I found this fishing line that someone was actively using, so I left it alone. But I found another one stuck to the reef, so I pulled that one out. Then Brittany found this really beautiful shell. Nice shell, Brittany. Uh-oh. Looks like there's more fishing lines stuck to the coral head. I carefully removed it, and now the coral can breathe a little bit better. Here's another fishing weight, but I don't think anyone's actively using it. And you can see this line is all tangled around. I picked it up so that it won't accidentally harm another sea creature. I thought this was a rope, but it's actually hundreds or thousands of pieces of fishing line all stuck together. It spans all over this basin that I found, and I'm gonna have to come back another time with a team to pick it all up. Then I found a fishing lure and this sea turtle with a line coming out of his mouth. I tried to pull on it, and he was like, yeah! I tried my best, but I don't think that I'm going to be able to help him today. Best of luck on your journeys, friend. Okay, that's all the stuff we saw. Bye. I was trying to ask these fishies how their day was, but they were swimming away so fast, and I was like, what's wrong, fishies? And they wouldn't answer me. Then I started to hear the faint whistling of a cetacean that I knew really well, and I turned around and saw the dolphins. I wanted to try to blend in, so I did my best dolphin impression, but they didn't seem to notice. I guess I was doing a little bit too much of a whale. As they peacefully swam below us, this idiot came out of nowhere, kicking full speed. The dolphins did not like that, and they immediately turned around 
around and swam away from him. He kept chasing them and I had to grab onto his fin so I could educate him about how important it is to not chase dolphins and give them their space. If you happen to see dolphins while you're swimming, just stay completely still and let them swim past. Then we saw these two spotted eagle rays and Brittany dove down so that we could make a cool video and it was so amazing to see them flapping around. Good to see you, doll friends. Bye. Oh my gosh, she's talking. Listen. So I was out cleaning the ocean the other day and I found all this fishing line stuck to the reef. I kept working on it and finally I was able to pull it all off. Then I found this piece of a plastic bottle and a zip tie and on my way back up to the surface, I looked down and all these dolphins were swimming past us. It wasn't long until I looked around and noticed a bunch of ocean Karens has surrounded us. They're here to chase and harass the dolphins. Anyways, back to work. I found this fishing line and another fishing line and then a piece of a red solo cup, a piece of plastic, a little string of plastic. Oh, missed it. Why is there so many strings of plastic in the ocean? I went to a a spot that had a lot of debris sitting around and I found some fishing line and then what no way finally I found something valuable we're running out of time so if you want to see what it was come back later for part two I went to a spot that had a lot of debris sitting around and I found some fishing line and then what no way finally I found something valuable this mask is worth almost $60 while I was down there I thought I noticed some seashells so I went back down and wow look at this one it's so beautiful oh my gosh and another one right next to it two shells in one drop that's an epic diver moment Ooh, another shell Oh my gosh, I'm finding so many shells today. That one has a little hermit crab, so I put him back. Oh, and a rubber band. What the heck? Then I found this spoon. Why is there always these giant piles of fishing line and organic debris stuck together? Then I found this piece of plastic. There's a wrapper to a granola bar and a bottle cap that must have been there for a long time. Found a piece of fiberglass. And then what the heck is this? It looked like a bag or something. I started to dig it out, but it was all covered in sand. This thing is super heavy and it's going to take me a while to pull it out. Come back later if you want to see what it was. So on my dive the other day, I found this big thing buried in the sand and I thought it was a bag and I tried pulling on it. But for some reason today, my pullout game was so weak. I realized what was making it so hard was this dummy thick rock. Finally, I brought the rock and all the rest of the stuff up to the surface to see what it was. As I kept looking at it, I realized it was a t-shirt. It said turtle something. I kept flipping it around and saw that it said Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like the cartoon from forever ago. I was trying to see what era this shirt came from to see how long it's been down there. And I finally found out what the front of it looked like. It said sewer surfing and had these guys blasting out of the sewer. Well, when I looked on Google, it took a long time to find anything that looked like that. Like look at how specific I had to search and then finally I found one result and then when I tried to reverse image search the picture that I found that was the only one So when I say that this shirt was rare, it was rare Then I took this cool video of Brittany and that's all we did. Okay. Bye yesterday My friend Brittany and I were playing with our friend Octavia. We were having so much fun swimming, but it was time for us to go I took Octavia back to her house, but I noticed she went through the side cave right away. As I ascended, I kept watching to make sure everything was okay. Then the worst thing imaginable happened. An eel had snuck into her house while she was out playing. The evil eel was relentlessly attacking her in this cave she was trying to hide in. There was nothing I could do but watch. Eels are vicious and have teeth so sharp and jaws so strong they can bite your fingers off. So I can't risk putting my hand in his way. When he comes out from the cave, I can see his menacing grin is filled with one of Octavia's legs. He snaps at me for even getting too close. As he finally swims off, all I can think about is how hopeless I was to save my friend. But the story doesn't end here. Octavia told me that because she's an octopus, she can just regrow her legs. She's gonna make a full recovery. You can see where one is missing. I apologized and told her that I would be more careful in the future. We love you, Octavia. We went diving this morning and the water was so clear that it didn't look like we were underwater. It's so satisfying to pick up the sand and let it flow out of my hands. Then I saw this big turtle swimming on the bottom. He was so chill and Brittany went down and swam with him. Okay, bye turtle friend. Then I saw this hole and I thought my octopus friend Octavia was inside. So I put my hand in one hole and my snorkel in the other hole. I jiggled the snorkel around a little bit like deeko, 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 deeko. and she squeezed onto me and jumped out of the hole. Hi Octavia, it's so good to see you. Oh, she He's giving me a big hug. Before we could take any pictures with Octavia, Brittany pointed out this spotted eagle ray. We haven't seen one in a while, and it's one of Brittany's favorite animals. What was even better than the eagle ray was that he was munching on something down on the bottom, and when Brittany picked it up, we realized it was this massive shell. There wasn't much left of the animal that used to be living inside, so I yoinked it out, and now we can keep this beautiful shell. I took some pictures of our spotted eagle ray friend, and then Brittany came up to me with another shell. Finally, it was time to take some pictures with Octavia, and then we- Oh, Octavia, I I can't see. Oh my gosh, she's sucking onto my face. Okay, that's all the stuff we saw. Bye. So the other day, I was diving with my friend. 
Brittany, who are you people? Oh my gosh, thank goodness, Brittany, I found you. The water was so clear, we did a little photo shoot, and then this monk seal came by to say hi. He kept going and went right up to these other people, and they didn't notice. I guess that's why you should always keep your face in the water. Then I found this golf bowl, and a fishing bobber, and a wooden fishing bobber, and then I found this really nice cowrie shell, and a spiral shell, and this weird trash thing. I showed them to Brittany, and I was like, pick a hand, and she picked the trash again. Ooh, got her. I showed her my epic shell. And she said she really wanted the cowrie. Then I went down and found some more of those pieces of trash and one more cowrie. Then I found this rebar and what was attached to it, you're not gonna believe. On my dive the other day, I found this piece of rebar and someone left a fish attached to it. What kind of contraption is this? Who would catch a fish and just leave it there? I reeled him in and he's looking pretty weak. This is called a mempachi. They're super spiky, so I have to be really careful when I grab him, but I'm gonna remove the hook and see if he can still survive in the wild. I moved him around to get some water in his gills and he started to swim off, but he was going really slow. So slow, in fact, that I was able to catch him while he was just swimming around. I don't think you're ready to be out in the open, bud. Come with me, my little fishy friend. I let him go near this cave, and he didn't look so hot at first, but then he swam down and got into the dark hole. That's where Mempachi typically like to live. I went down to check if he would swim back into my hand, and he wouldn't do it. I guess that means he'll be safe, and he can start his road to recovery. On the way back in, I saw these bubble blowers, and talk about the worst kind of people, am I right? Eesh. Then I found this fishing weight, and that's all the stuff we saw by. Okay, guys, before we get to number one, I just want to say thanks again for watching my videos this year. I really, really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And Brittany. Thanks for your help on the videos, Brittany. Yeah. We did it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so just want to say thanks again. And like, it was so cool to just blow up on YouTube this year. And I'm looking forward to another year of great success here on YouTube and so hopefully you guys will come and watch more of my videos i'm going to start posting on shorts again in the new year and i think it's going to be really really exciting so smash like if you enjoyed this video and if you knew what the number one video was it's my egg video please enjoy i heard that if you crack an egg at the bottom of the ocean something crazy happens so i wanted to try it out first i got my egg and then i went to the bottom of the ocean it's about 45 feet deep here i checked to see if it would float back up and it actually sinks when i went to crack it i realized my thumbnails weren't that strong so i went back to the surface for a breath oh hey Brittany, look at the rainbow anyways i went back down and i cracked it open with the other camera and as i pull it apart you can see the clear part of the egg sticks to the top i wanted to make sure that the egg all stayed together so i slowly peeled away the pieces of the bottom shell until it would fall out okay i got it now i have this cool floaty egg look at me and my egg friend this is so crazy he's just chilling i was running out of breath so i went up again and when i looked down this fish was stealing my egg bruh can you not he scurried away as i swam back down and all that was left was bits and pieces i tried to pick it up and obviously that didn't work i'm gonna try this again and next time i won't let a fish steal my egg okay that's all the stuff we saw bye Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. So today it's just me because we're doing one of your guys' favorite videos. We are doing a bikini haul. So, okay, so a little bit of a story time. This company is Moana Bikini and they're based in Australia and they reached out to me and they're like, we wanna send you bikinis. And I was like, no freaking way, that is so cool. So um, yeah, they sent me all of these and I already opened them and saw what they were because I couldn't freaking wait. But I haven't tried any of them on yet. So we're gonna try them all on today and I'm super excited. They didn't uh, pay me or anything to do this video. They just wanted to send me them, but I'm super stoked, so I wanted to make a video. And their box is so cute. Um, but, so I used to really like them, and then I kind of just stopped buying them, not for any specific reason. I just like discovered other brands and whatever. So I used to buy them off of like Poshmark mostly. Sometimes I would buy like one off their website, um, but they're a little bit pricey, especially back when I was broke. And, um, I hope this is in focus. And so I buy them on Poshmark and wear them for a little, take some pictures in them, and then sell them because they hold their value really well. Like on Poshmark, you can find them for like expensive, um, for like a used bikini, you know, because they come out with collections and then they don't really come out with them again. So, and they're like really fun travel prints, you guys will see. Um, and then, also, we're in this room and the background looks really bad because our whole house is under construction and I'm filming it at this not the greatest part of the day, like the lighting is bad, I have my ring light out right now um, because we have the roofers coming and we have other general general contractors like working on the house right now and there's like people everywhere, I can't be trying bikinis on in the house when everyone's like, 
There's so many windows in this house and skylights. There's either a skylight or a window in every room. Well, there is skylights and windows in like every room. And they're working on the roof. So they're like climbing up and down and whatever. So uh, everyone is gone for the day now. It's like almost six, I think. Um, so the lighting is kind of bad. Sorry about that. And then I'm just in our spare bedroom. These are all of our surf rags and boxes in the background. I will have a cuter background in the future. Okay, so this intro is super long. We're just gonna start looking at these bikinis because I can't wait. They sent me the cutest note. Um, the girl I reached out to me watches Shane's TikToks. So she's really a little octopus on there. It's so cute. I can't wait to wear these. I got them like a week ago and I've been waiting to film this video so that I could wear them. So I haven't tried anything on yet. They also sent me some free little cute like a lip balm and a hair mask. Which I should have used this today because I just got back from the beach. That's why my hair's wet. Okay. And this is from, they're from their collection called Shore Thing. It's like their mostly newest one. Okay. Here is the first one, bottoms. These are so cute. This like braided on the sides and then it has shells. And here is the pattern. And then it is reversible. I think like a lot of them are reversible. I think it's reversible. And then this side has like little starfish on it. It's seriously so cute. Uh, and then the top is like a triangle top and it has these cool little rings that are like made of shells and again like all of this this detail is all braided and then it has the shells I freaking love that like such mermaid vibes okay next one is also reversible so here is one side it's like this red pattern and then the back is super cool. It's like crisscrossy. And then it reverses. It's like nudibranchs. <laughs> if you guys don't know what they are, look it up. It's like an ocean thing. So that's this side. Super cool. Uh, and the bottoms are just kind of basic. Go to easy bottoms. And then again, they reverse to the other thing. So exciting. Should I try on both sides of the bikinis? I, I think I will. Okay. Oh, and I got a size small and everything from their website. They run like a slightly bigger, I would say, than other brands that I buy from. Okay, so these bottoms have leopard sharks all over them. And it's, again, the braided detail. And it, it'll sit like, like it's like double strap, you know what I'm saying? And then you tie the upper ones. And they have the shells, again, so cute. I'm not sure if this one's reversible, probably, but this is what this side looks like. And then the top is so fun, like I can't wait to take pictures in this one. Probably won't wear this one diving, but it's like strapless with these little slits in the middle. And then these like go around your arm right here. So it looks like a little off the shoulder top type of vibe. So cute. Okay, quick intermission from the video because I'm starving. I was at the beach all day and I didn't pack any snacks and I just wanted to take a break and eat some snacks from my freaking dry treats box. We have unboxed some of these before on our channel. Um, I'm just gonna go over it quickly. So every box you get once a month and it's a different country and you get to try snacks from that country. So this box is Italy and then comes with this card that describes like all the different snacks that come in the box. Some are weird, some are really good, et cetera, et cetera. I already ate one thing cause I like couldn't wait cause I know that it's so good. It was like this little Italian candy. It's like nougat and nuts. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really good. And then I had some of these chips too, these Tuscan crips cause I obviously couldn't wait. But yeah, it comes with so much stuff. I'm gonna break open these breadsticks and have a few. And then we'll get back to trying on bikinis. Love it. And then also in here, it came with four of these, but Shane and his mom ate some. They're called Zots and they're like fizzy hard candies. I don't know, I haven't tried one yet, but I'm excited for those. And if you guys want to get your own box, they're so fun. It's so exciting because I love food. And it's exciting to try food from other places. I really want to get one from like Japan or China. I feel like they would have crazy snacks. Um, but if you guys want to get one, I'll pop our code right up here on the screen. And there'll be a link in our bio to shop Tri Treats.
Okay, this one might be one of my favorites. It has freaking hammerhead sharks all over it. So it's like a bra style top. They're so cute. Oh, I love blue bikinis. And then the bottoms, the bottoms are, the top for that one's not reversible, but the bottoms are. So this is the hammerhead shark print. And then the other side reverses to the shark tooth print that is so cute. I think it's my favorite. And there's a matching top for that side too, so. But this is the hammerhead shark side. And then the top that can be hammerhead sharks. It's like a bralette style top. It like crisscrosses in the back. Hard to see, I'll show you guys when it's on. But so yeah, I could wear like this top, the hammerhead top, with these bottoms, also a hammerhead, or I could reverse it. And then it has the shark teeth on it. Huh? And then those bottoms reverse and have the shark teeth on the other side. So it's like so many bikinis in one. You can do so many different things. And then this one also has the cute shells on it. But then it also came with these bottoms, which are only for shark teeth. This is like their classic style, I feel like. Like they were making some of the first cheeky bikinis that I, at least I ever discovered and I was like, oh, I freaking need those. So this is like one of the OG styles that had this, these bottoms in like this tie-dye um, colorway and I would wear them all the time back in the day. I don't know what happened to them. I probably sold them on Poshmark when I needed money. Um, so that's really cool because that, those two like combo into so many different suits. Okay, this one. It's tie kind of funny right now, but green and purple with, again, they all have the seashells and it's the cutest thing. I'm freaking obsessed. And then this one reverses to just this fun pink and blue print. I like love the contrasting of this with this print. I like love, love that. It's so cool. And then the top is like your most basic style triangle. Yeah. So this one side with the green and purple and then this side with the pink and purple and whatever and again with the shells like literally they all have the shells it's so cool i'm obsessed i cannot wait to shoot in all of these we need to go to the beach we have not been going to the beach lately because we've been just working on the house okay and then this one piece i love this style one piece with the high hip and then the cutout in the middle it's that same print with the leopard sharks all over it so cute and then it reverses into that uh, other style print that was one what like so many like they I think they sent me seven or eight but then it's really like 16 bathing suits like so many which is so cool okay now we're gonna try on bikinis. Let's go.
those were so freaking cute i'm so obsessed i cannot wait to wear them stay tuned for future vlogs you'll definitely see me wearing them and then comment below if you saw me wearing them a little bikini emoji with a winking face and i'll know that you saw this video too um so yeah i hope you like this video if you did make sure you go down below and comment especially comment what's your favorite bikini um because i want to know because i don't know which one's my favorite they're all so cute smash like and freaking smash subscribe if you haven't already we're gonna do lots of bikini hauls even though it's winter it's always summer in hawaii so we're bikini hauling it all year long we're gonna do some house update videos soon that i'm really excited about um so stay tuned for all the fun stuff and that's all the stuff we saw bye